okay hi virgos welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my virgos that are dealing with a fire sign an aries leo or a sagittarius now this is a general message so it may not resonate with everyone just take what resonates for you virgos and leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe it's very much appreciated so I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. Happy birthday to anyone whose birthday is today, okay? Don't forget to comment down below so that we can wish you a happy birthday. Cross watcher, if you are in here, feel free to flip the rolls. <laughs> yeah, with that little shaking, I know there's cross watchers, but okay. Feel free to flip the rolls, okay, if you're dealing with a Virgo. All right, Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius? This is my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Can I get a card for the fire sign? What's the strongest energy here? Give me a card for the fire sign. Mm. You have the Magician turning over, and you have the Strength card falling out here, okay? So heavy Leo energy coming out, but the Magician. So we'll see what comes out in the rest of the reading for the fire sign to see what that magician is actually representing the magician can talk about an energy of manifestation it can represent an energy of manipulation it can represent maybe some sort of spell work but let's see show me going forward not going forward Just give me a card for the virgos hmm Okay, give me a card for the Virgos. What's Virgo's energy here? All right, so the card that is coming out for you, Virgos, is the Hierophant. So I don't know if you're teaching someone a lesson here, okay? You could be married to this fire sign, doesn't have to be. But it looks like your energy is coming out in the Hierophant in terms of, you know, when you think about the Hierophant, you think of a leader, a teacher, you know, you think of wisdom and knowledge. I'm all, I see somebody almost like standing up and <laughs> I'm hearing the word congregation. <laughs> so it's almost like I'm, the vision I'm getting It's almost like somebody standing up and it almost looks like a classroom. But take it how it resonates. This could be a church or something like that. Maybe some of you are preachers or something like that here. But you have the star card at the bottom of the deck. So someone could be in the public eye. Or there's a strong energy here with a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. With the star card, there's a strong energy here of you healing from something. I'm hearing rising above. But let's see. Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, spirit. Magician and the Hierophant. Hmm. What's the energy here, Virgo, dealing with a fire sign? Thank you. And going forward. Okay. Yeah, you got health at the bottom of the deck with manifest. And, and even though this health card talks about health issues could arise, the way I'm seeing it is almost exactly like what I just saw at the bottom of the deck. Manifest and health, you healing from something and now you have stepped into some sort of power. So the first card that came out, it says caution. It says, find out more information. It says, don't overwork yourself. So that is an energy of a warning here, okay? And then you have, going forward, you have move on. It says, someone is unavailable. It says, a waste of time. It's over. So is this a case of where this fire sign may be still holding on to you here, Virgos? But you're showing clear signs that you have moved on. It's like... <laughs> It's almost like with the bouquet and the stalk, right, which talks about new beginnings. It talks about movement. It talks about change. 
transition, transformation. Almost like the death card, which again represents endings. And then you have this number nine, the bouquet, which talks about you being in the space of almost like I'm seeing the nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy. So some of you may very well be single, but you're happy that way. This nine of cups energy could also be talking to me about some sort of wish fulfillment coming towards you or you are just in that element. It's also about happiness. Maybe you're getting a lot of compliments, but let's see. Because it could be that maybe you are wish fulfillment to this fire sign. Someone's name could be Jennifer. But what is this for my Virgo's dealing with a fire sign? Thank you, Spirit. So you have the sun flipping in the reverse. So again, you someone here, it could be heavy Leo energy that I'm picking up today. Could also be Aries with the tower here, okay, at the bottom of the deck. Let's move on. Ooh, the mountain coming in the reverse as well. Yeah, makes sense. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, look at this. You've got the scythe at the bottom of the deck. So the scythe does, it is a number 10, but to me, it's like the death card. It talks about endings, warnings. Um, it can talk about accidents and things like that. So I don't know if someone here has had some sort of accident. I feel like for some of you, there may be an issue here when it comes to beliefs. The different things that people believe in. Yeah, the whip, conflict, debate. This also talks about abuse and pain. So I don't know if someone's trying to hurt another person. I don't know if someone here was in a an abusive relationship with somebody here. But the mountain, okay, first, right, with the sun coming out in the reverse. In the reverse, it talks about someone not being successful about something. It talks someone not having a victory in a situation. It talks about someone who is not in a happy place. Someone here was maybe expecting some sort of positive outcome in a situation and, and I don't feel like they got it. And it could have made this person angry. It may have triggered them. Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords. This is sleepless nights. This is anxiety, stress and worry. This is someone who is in the energy of despair. And for some of you, they're in this energy all because they betrayed you. Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords makes a Ten of Swords energy, which talks about a betrayal. You've got the magician out here. The Ten of Swords energy can talk about a curse. A hex. Now with the moving on card, you have the mountains in the reverse, okay? Now in the upright, the mountains talks about obstacles and blockages and you having an enemy and somebody trying to make things challenging for you and, you know, someone who is in this energy where they're hell bent on getting some sort of revenge. Stubbornness. But it's in the reverse. With the moving on, who exactly did they stop? Nobody. But I'm hearing spirits say, but they caused some delays for themselves though. So show me what this is. My Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Caution and the sun in the reverse. The two of cups coming out here. Show me more. Eight of swords. Coming out sideways is a king of cups yeah this is someone who's stuck in their emotions or there could be a water sign that is involved in this situation cancer pisces scorpio energy or this fire sign could have it highly aspected in their chart five of wands at the bottom of the deck with the two of swords someone here is experiencing some sort of blockages or there's some sort of arguments here between people five of wands right these are people that wanted to be in competition with you or like i said spirit did say they have caused some delays for themselves Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, right after you is a Six of Swords. You have moved on to Karma Waters. What are these people fighting about? What is the argument? Is it because someone still has emotions for you? For some of you, is it because you're in a new relationship? 
Is it because you don't want to work with them? What's the issue here? What's the two of cups? Landing on the eight of swords is the ace of swords. What about the ace of swords? Because the ace of swords talks about truth and clarity. It can talk about victory and success. I just heard that for some of you, this is a fire sign that tried to stop you having some sort of successful relationship. Now, I don't know if you're in a new relationship or this is an energy that is coming towards you. But show me more. Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles? The Nine of Wands. I feel like for some of you, you could be financially stable, right? I feel like for some of you, even this Two of Cups with this Ace of Swords and Ten of Pentacles is saying to me, you have or there is something coming towards you that is going to be long term here. Now, again, for some of you, if you are single, right, this could just be about maybe something that you are working on or working towards. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles or the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Fool card. There's some sort of new beginning here. This is you taking a leap of faith. They didn't want you to have victory in something. For some of you, they didn't want you to have victory in anything. What's the Eight of Swords? <laughs> that Five of Wands wanted to jump out. What is the Eight of Swords? The Eight of Swords is the Chariot. Moving forward. Progression. The, the, someone's really worried about, I almost wanted to use the word, your destiny. The Strength card. So the strength card is Leo energy, but it's also Virgo energy. And this is someone who is seeing you not only move forward, but you're doing it, I heard, in style. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. I see someone in a nice car as well. So I don't know if you've got a, a new vehicle here, Virgos, okay? Could even be relocating. Maybe you're moving into a new home or you have. But there's, yeah, there, there's something about you that has upgraded. Again, that could be anything. Because I'm hearing that song, Mama, let me upgrade you. Temperance with the Eight of Pentacles. You're very much at peace here, Virgos. Very much at peace at work or whatever it is that you do for work. You could be very skilled at something. You could be working on your skills here. But the Eight of Pentacles does talk about mastery. And it's because of this rebirth. It's because of you knowing when to walk away from something that no longer serves you. Justice. And it's nothing more than you deserve. If some of you felt like lately that maybe your intuition was off a little bit, I feel like for some of you this person was projecting something on you with the devil energy and the magician on their side. Someone here feels like, you know what it feels like? It feels like someone here doesn't like the fact that you bruise their ego. Hmm. What's the King of Cups? The Empress. And the Page of Swords. <laughs> What's the Page of Swords? What's the Page of Swords? The Sun card. I'm telling you, for some of you, this person is someone that would almost take to the grave how they feel about you. They'd rather keep it suppressed. This is someone who knows that they have emotions or feelings for you or that they want to be with you, which is number one, why they can't let go. 
but I also feel like this is someone who who I don't know they would never they would never tell you they would rather you run after them but you're coming out as the empress and she doesn't chase she attracts she's very abundant This is someone who is seeing that you are accomplishing certain things. And they may even be proud of you in some sort of way. But again, they would never tell you that. It's that energy of pride and ego. What is moving on in the mountain? What is moving on in the mountain? Coming out sideways is a blockage. So you have the six of cups. Yeah, I don't know. This person seems to be stuck in some sort of energy of nostalgia, right? Reminiscing. Six of wands, six, six could be significant. Show me more. Coming out almost sideways is the knight of wands. What's the six of cups? The moon. Hmm. And the two of wands. And the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the star card. The queen of wands. Yeah, you're coming out too confident here, Virgos. Some of you could um, be dealing with a queen of wands, a uh, feminine energy. But I feel like this is someone who sees that you have stepped into that power. They see you celebrating. Or you are going to have things to celebrate. This is you still kind of living your best life, still getting out there, still having fun with friends and family. It's just an overall energy of happiness. There could be people that are celebrating you. It really makes me feel like for some of you with this two of pentacles, I always talk about the infinity sign where it reminds me of the number eight where, but it kind of reminds me of karma. Being stuck in a loop, being stuck in a situation that really isn't going anywhere. And I feel like with the page of wands underneath it, some of you chose to free yourself. They can't keep you stuck. They can't betray you. Ten of swords, right, with a star card on top of it. Because you have healed. You release that energy. You release this person. There is no more emotional ties for some of you. But what's this six of wands? Six of Wands, look at this, it landed right on the Empress, the Death card. Six of Wands and the Death. <clears throat> you have the, the, <laughs> the World card. <laughs> I'm sorry. But when it's just clear, it's just clear, right? Move on. What's this Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands is the Nine of Swords. So for some of you, anytime I get this energy, it makes me feel like either this is someone who tried to, I don't know, do tried to um, offer you some sort of sexual advance or maybe that's their plan here. Maybe this is someone who was realizing, hey, that Knight of Wands energy ain't going to work anymore, right? Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, stressing. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's the Emperor and there's the Knight of Swords. Someone wanting to rush in here towards you, right? Maybe to give you an apology with the Page of Cups. Maybe to test the waters here with you. But the Seven of Cups with the Page of Cups makes the Eight of Cups. You have already left the building. Some of us, you have really learned to love yourself. What is the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords coming in the reverse is the Three of Cups. There is no reconciliation. <laughs> yeah, because you're in the Nine of Cups energy, Hierophant energy. You have the Hierophant on your side here. Some of you are so invested in the Most High, right? In your beliefs, in your relationship with God. And where I was talking about some of you, I don't know if this is an energy of 
you being some sort of a teacher here. Maybe you have released this person because with yourself, you have learned to forgive. Forgive the person, forgive the situation. Cut the cords. Yeah, you're on a higher level of commitment and I don't necessarily feel like it's with another person. For some of you, it could be. You do have the two of cups out here with the ace of swords and the ten of pentacles. This would be like the energy where this person, uh, whatever here went wrong, whatever they did, who did what, whatever, right? We, we ain't pointing fingers today. Whatever went wrong, like I said, someone here has let go. This is the kind of person who's going to turn around and turn around and look back at you and see that you married <laughs> see you with someone who is um willing to put the work in someone who's honest loyal faithful or this is you like i said pouring into you and you having this partnership with the most high okay because you done seen the truth in a situation and now you're just trying to get to that bag I'm also hearing something about spiritual wealth. So this could have something to do with your gifts and things like that. Right? Alright. How are we doing for time? Mm. Alright, so. Let's see how they feel about you. How does a fire sign feel about the Virgos? How do they really feel about the Virgos? <laughs> Give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. How do they feel about the Virgos? So you have in depth. It says heartfelt and it says connecting on a deeper level or complex feelings. So they feel like you're connecting on a deeper level or they want to connect on a deeper level. They, they're confused. That's how I feel. You have love stories. It says communicating and saying what needs to be said. Okay. I'm asking how they feel about you here, Virgos. So they feel like you communicate and say what needs to be said. So is this a fire sign that can't really speak up? Doesn't know how to express themselves? So... Give me one more. Adventures. It says having new experiences and making new friends. So yeah, they see you moving away. They were just hell bent on trying to stop you from going in the direction that you know you want to go. Look at that back and forth. They wanted you to go backwards and forwards in their head or they are. They wanted you to change your mind. They wanted you to be confused emotionally. Oh. So is this someone who is... An emotional manipulator with the magician. Hmm? I heard master for some of you. You have leap forward and sweet home. Yeah, you know where you're going. You know where you're going and wherever you are going, Virgos, you're unlocking your happiness here. See the harmony there? I'm telling you, some of you are going to end up having a family with somebody else. Yeah, look at that. An enduring bond and celebrations. Do you know what? I'm hearing spirit say, when you know better, you'll do better. And maybe, like I said, maybe he was only meant to come into this person's life to teach them a lesson. And maybe vice versa, right? The empress doesn't get to the empress status by just doing nothing. No, she has to go through a lot of things. She has to experience a lot of pain. What's the tea on this fire sign? So you have fake accounts. It says fake social media accounts to spy. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So heavy spying on you. You have romantic love affair. It says sex, fix and secret lover. And you've got scarcity tactics at the bottom of the deck. What did I say about this knight of wands and this nine of swords? But the three of cups is in the reverse. That ain't going to work. So look at that, ego. <laughs> Her ego. It says ego getting in the way of a relationship. 
Whatever is dealing with a fire sign, what's the tea on the fire sign? You have fishing for comments. <laughs> Do you know what they're showing me? This would be the kind of thing. Let me just use my platform as an example, right? So I know a weird little fire sign from the past. <laughs> And they will come on my platform and they will create a whole account, probably as a female or something like that or whatever, right? And they will be one of the ones that will come in every day, you know? And then it will be like, they would get like a, a little, I don't know how to explain it. Like they would get a little buzz out of me saying, hey, you know, because obviously you're under a fake account. And, and I'm that kind of person. If you guys put a comment, even if I put an emoji, I want to reply back to you guys to let you know I've seen it, to let you know that I am engaging. Do you get me? They will be, they will do something weird like that. Show me more. What's fishing comments? <laughs> it came out. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're in here today. Hey, <laughs> you have ego. It came out. All right, anything else? Yeah, they can. You got cyber bullying at the bottom of the deck, and look what's right behind it wants you back. This could be someone who has legal um, issues going on, but you would never know about it, right? Moves in silence. Hmm. For some of you, if this person chose somebody over you, they may be reflecting on this with love triangle and reflecting. And there's that Aries energy, and look at this happiness hater why because you don't want to take their offer right and because they can't move on this person may have told a lot of lies about you with no facts here as well never has the facts make shit up and lies and you know that could be coming back to bite them in the butt spirit what's the energy going forward Give me a card for the fire sign. What's the energy look like going forward for them? It landed on the sun in the reverse. Ooh. Man. Listen, I'm sure it's not going to resonate for everyone, okay? Uh, I'm hearing that bit when... What song is that? Is it the song where she says, every night when I rush to my bed? Oh, dear. I mean, I mean, with the sun in the reverse, it would make me think of nighttime as well, right? I don't know if this person does drugs here at night on their own. I don't know if this is someone who pops pills or does something else here. I can hear the bird as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me a card for the Virgos going forward. Doing drugs. They're almost, what is this? Aww. What's this other one? Let me see what this is as well. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Leave that where it is. Virgos, the one that's turning over you. It says, I hate nothing about you. Like I said, with that energy of forgiving and letting go and cutting cords, it's just, you know, things uh, happen for a time, you know, for a season. I don't know if you was promiscuous or this person saw you as promiscuous before here, Virgos, okay? I'm going to have to be honest with you. But like I said, I do see a change around here. Right? I see the Empress sitting out here now. And where this Knight of Wands energy, you know, why would they think that about you? Hmm. So I'm going to leave that there. That is what I have picked up for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, cross watcher. <laughs> if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light, guys.